Okay, you guys ready to start giving away some trophies? All right. That's a long list. The sponsor list is growing, so. Okay, what we'll do, I'm going to call out third, second, and first place winners. I want you guys to come up and please wait until each member of your class comes up and, get, and they get their trophy. And what we'll do is take your picture then, and then you can take your seat. So, I also want you guys to bear with me. I'm trying my best to pronounce your names correctly, but as sure as I'm standing here, I'm going to blow something. So just laugh about it and, and help me, and uh, we'll know next time. Okay, so we're going to start with last night's light show. Man, you guys lit up the light last night. Was that, that was the coolest light show I've ever seen. It was something else. So, here we go. Lights Bobtail. In third place, we had number 513, Tom Davis, Davis Brothers Trucking, Owensville, Indiana, with the 2014 white and orange Peterbilt 389. In second place, we had number 159, David Foster of Joplin, Missouri, with the 2005 red and silver Kenworth W900L. And in first place, we had number 147, Bob and Shelly Brinker from Grayling, Michigan, with the 2000 Mural Freightliner Classic XL, Legend of the Black Pearl. Okay, moving right along here. Lights combo, third place, number 359, Sean Silkey from Hogan, Montana, with a 2007 gray and green Kenworth T600, 2014 Wabash Reefer, Outcast. In second place, Number 357, Bill and Sarah Rethwish from Toma, Wisconsin with the 2013 green and white Peterbilt 389 and the 2013 Polar Tanker, blood, sweat, and gas. And in first place, we had a tie. So in a tie for first place, number 715, Vinny DiOrio from Richville, Wisconsin with the 2013 orange and purple Peterbilt 389 with a 2008 Mac curtain side, trend setting. And tied with trend setting for first place, number 714, Brian Davis, Davis Brothers Trucking from Owensville, Indiana, with the 2005 black and blue Peterbilt 379 and the 2012 Wilson Grain Hopper Super Freak. Okay, now, for our best of show, Wash and Show Bobtail. We have number 121, Dre Elsey from Seminary, Mississippi with a 1997 Purple Kenworth W900L. Now for our best of show, wash and show combo, we have number 320, Kevin Pascavis and Benny DiOrio from Richville, Wisconsin again with the 2013 Blue and Orange Peterbilt 389, Envy. All right, congratulations to those guys. Okay, we're gonna take a quick minute here and draw for a couple of great prizes. Um, let's get somebody up here. Send me a kid up here. Where's a, somebody come up here. Right there, come up here. Got a hat? Let's let him draw for us. Okay, first up we have a gift certificate for $200. This is $200 in product from PDI. Let's see what we have here out of the official hat. Number 514, Joel Dawes. He doesn't need it. Where is it? 
Joel Darrell from Waterford, Wisconsin with a 1988 white and green. Yep, that is a $200 PDI gift certificate. Now, from Showstopper Wax, we need one more drawing here. Come on, draw. One more drawing. This is for... All right, let's get this. We're going to draw two names for this one. So go ahead and get one more name. What? Angie and Joe, are you guys here? I think they're out back. Where are they? Come on up here. Whoever wins, you get a kiss. All right, this is from Showstopper Wax. Number 358, Ryan Derrickson. This is pretty sweet. And we have Chad Gamola and Jesse Shirley. A bucket of showstopper wax. Okay, we're going to do one more drawing, but we really want to thank the girls from Showstopper for showing up. You did the lot well. Okay, this, is, this drawing is for Blue Tiger headset. This is a great product. You'll love it while you're going down the road staying hands-free from Blue Tiger. Doug Holder. Oh, Jim Jarvis. Jim Jarvis from Alliance, Ohio. Is Jim here? Hey, hey. All right, good deal. Thank you to our sponsors for that. Hey, if any of you guys hadn't talked to this guy, I think he had a pretty good time here at the truck show, too. Oh, those away for me. Okay. Moving on, this is for our Pride and Polish Awards. We're starting out with Bobtail Antique. We had third place, number 812, Mike O'Brien and Robert Peeney from St. Cloud, Florida with a 1971 Barry Red Peterbilt 282. Second place. We had number 162, Darren Kling with Kling Towing and Recovery from Fruitland Park, Florida with a 1955 Red Chevy Cab Over. And in first place, number 811, Lou DiBardini's with DiBardini's Trucking, Orlando, Florida with a 1929 Red and Black Mac AK. All right. Next, we have our Bobtail Specialized. Bobtail Specialized. In second place, we have number 161, Jeff Rivas from Wildwood, Florida with a 2014 Peterbilt 388 record. And in first place, we have number 163, Darren Kling with Kling Towing and Recovery from Fruitland Park with a 2012 White Kenworth W900 record. This is for Bobtail, company truck. In third place, we have number 165, William Reynolds from Plant City, Florida with a 2012 Blue Kenworth T660. Stayed out a little, ah, here he comes. 
All right. And in second place, we have number 160, Brian Fretwell with Taylor Transport, Inc. out of Cartersville, Georgia with the 2013 Black Kenworth W900. And in first place, we have number 146, Austin Ashley with Ashley Farms Trucking LLC in Raleigh, Mississippi with the 2007 Purple and White Peterbilt 379 Double Take. And now we'll be moving on to Bobtail Working. Bobtail Working, in third place, we have number 159, David Foster from Joplin, Missouri with the 2005 Red and Silver Kenworth W900L. In second place, number 149, Troy Huddleston from Yale, Illinois with the 1991 Viper Red Freightliner Classic, flirting with disaster. And in first place, number 147, Bob and Shelly Brinker from Grayling, Michigan with the 2000 Mural Freightliner Classic XL, Legend of the Black Pearl. Sergeant Brinker. Okay, now we'll move on to the combo specialized. In third place, we have number 348, Scooby Melcher from Orlando, Florida with the 1991 red and white Kenworth 100 ES with a 2005 Wally Car Hauler. And in second place, we have number 355, Tim Fisher from Groveland, Florida with the 2000 Black and Silver Peterbilt 330 with the 2012 Titan Enclosed Service Trailer. I'm digging that hat, Scooby. And in first place, number 354, Michael Lecrenier from Walpole, Inc. Okeechobee, Florida with the 2014 Kenworth T880 and the 2008 Polar Tanker. Woo! Our next class would be the combo 2000 and older in third place, we had number three, five, six, Doug, Schult Doug Schulten, Rabbit River Transport, Holland, Michigan, with a 1986 white and gold Peterbilt 359 with a 2001 utility reefer, Gold Digger. In second place, Number 362, Paul Rizzler from California, Missouri with the 1996 white and green Peterbilt 379, 2008 Great Dane Reefer, Rizzler built. And in first place, number 358, Ryan Dicker Derrickson from Sturgeon Bay, Wisconsin with the 1999 white and blue Peterbilt 379 with the 2014 Great Dane Reaper down incognito. Now for combo, 2001 and newer, third place. Number 364, Jim Gambrell with CDT Inc. Lake City, Florida with the 2014 white and orange Kenworth T660 with the 2014 utility reefer. In 
in second place. Number 359, Sean Silkey from Hoffman, Montana. 2007, gray and green Kenmore T600 with the 2014 Wabash Reefer Outcast. And in first place, Number 357, Bill and Sarah Rethwish from Tumble, Wisconsin, with a 2013 green and white Peterbilt 389 and the 2013 Polar Tanker, Blood, Sweat, and Gas. Okay, now we'll move on to interior, cab only. In third place for interior, cab only, number 161, Jeff Rivas, Wildwood, Florida, with a 2014 red Peterbilt 388 record. In second place, number 149, Troy Huddleston from Yale, Illinois, with the 1991 Viper Red Freightliner Classic, flirting with disaster. And in first place, number 146, Austin Ashley, Ashley Farms Trucking, from Raleigh, Mississippi. It's a 2007 Purple and White Peterbilt 379, double take. For interior, OEM sleeper, third place, number 358, Ryan Derrickson from Sturgeon Bay, Wisconsin with a 99 white and blue Peterbilt 379 and the 2014 Great Dane Reefer down incognito. Second place, Number 357, Bill and Sarah Rathwish from Tomah, Wisconsin again with the 2013 green and white Peterbilt 389, 2013 Polar Tanker, Blood, Sweat, and Gas. And in first place, number 147, Bob and Shelly Breaker from Grayling, Michigan with the 2000 Mural Freightliner Classic XL, Legend of the Black Pearl. <laughs> okay, next we have Best interior, limited mileage. Best interior, limited mileage. We have a tie. A tie, number 714, Brian Davis, the Davis Brothers Trucking from Owensville, Indiana with the 2005 black and blue Peterbilt 379 and the 2012 Wilson Grain Hopper Super Freak. Tied with number 715, Vinny DiOrio from Richville, Wisconsin with the 2013 orange and purple Peterbilt 389, 2008 Mac Curtain side, trend setting. Okay. Paint, Bobtail, in third place. We have number 162, Darren Kling from Kling Towing and Recovery from here in Fruitland Park, Florida, with the 1955 red Chevy cab over. Second place, number 146, Austin Ashley with Ashley Farms Trucking in Raleigh, Mississippi with a 2007 purple and white Peterbilt 379 double take. And in first place, number 147, Bob and Shelly Breaker with the legend of the Black Pearl.
Okay. Now for paint combo. Paint combo. We have third place. Number 359, Sean Silky from Hogan, Montana with the 2007 Gray and Green. Kenworth T600. Outcast. In second place, we have number 358, Ryan Derrickson from Surgeon Bay, Wisconsin with the 99 white and blue Peterbilt 379, down incognito. And in first place, we have number 357, Bill and Sarah Rethrish from Tumble, Wisconsin with the 2013 Green and white, Peterbilt 389, blood, sweat, and gas. Okay, now for best paint. Limited mileage bobtail. Best paint, limited mileage bobtail. Number 513, Tom Davis, Davis Brothers Trucking from Owensville, Indiana with the 2014 white and orange Peterbilt 389. Now for best paint, limited mileage combo. Number 715, Vinny DiOrio from Richville, Wisconsin with a 2013 orange and purple Peterbilt 389. Trend setting. Now for engine, third place. Number 146, Austin Ashley with Ashley Farms Trucking, double take. In second place, number 357, Bill and Sarah Rethwish from Tomo, Wisconsin with the 2013 Green and White Peterbilt 389, blood, sweat, and gas. And in first place, number 147, Bob and Shelley Brankler from Grayling, Michigan with the 2000 Mural Freightliner Classic, Legend of the Black Pearl. Now for best engine. Best engine, limited mileage. We have number 715, Vinny DiOrio from Richville, Wisconsin with trend setting. Now for our builders class. In our builders class, we have first place, number 551, Armando Garcia from Opalaca, Florida with the 1997 Black Peterbilt 379, Danger. Okay. Before announcing the limited mileage, best of show, and people's choice winners, I'd like to tell all of you about our Pride and Polish National Championship event in Dallas, Texas at the Great American Trucking Show, August 21st through the 23rd. All best of show winners of our 2014 series, which began at GATS last year, will be invited to compete in the fifth annual National Championship at the Great American Truck and Show in Dallas, Texas. Best of show winners that compete in Dallas will enjoy a staged area to showcase their trucks, hotel accommodations, and a travel stipend of $1,000.
the national championship winners will receive top-of-the-line trophies, elevated recognition in the national press, and cash prizes of $1,500, $1,000, and $500 for first, second, and third places. We're thrilled to offer this opportunity where op op owners can be recognized for having the finest trucks in the country. This show is one of, the, one of your opportunities to qualify for the 2014 championship competition. However, whether you qualified or not, we welcome you guys to participate here in Dallas or anywhere we hold a truck beauty contest. Okay, we got that out of the way, and we have a, we, we've got another special award. I want everybody to pay close attention to this, is a really special award. And it's a little extra recognition for a young man who came early, stayed late, kept working, and never quit until rags down. You guys joined us at the driver's meeting singing happy birthday the other day, but today, we want to recognize him as a young gun, excellent at detailing a truck, and a young man who is growing up to be a great representative of the trucking industry. Luke Rethwish, this one's for you, buddy. Where are you? All right, you guys are going to have to be patient for another minute here. I'm going to get David Farkas. We're going to draw a couple of prizes here made available exclusively for our truck beauty contest participants. We put your names in the official cap. So what do we have left here? Okay. We got the hat. We got the name. We got the basket full of goodies. Number 311, Robert Cullen. Did he show up? All right. A basket of goodies here from 75 Chrome. Thank you, guys. Okay. Now for our limited mileage and Best of Show Awards. We're going to start out with limited mileage bobtail. We have runner-up, number 513, Tom Davis, Davis Brothers Trucking from Owensville, Indiana with the 2014 white and orange Peterbilt 389. And our best of show winner, limited mileage bobtail. Number 514, Joel Dawes from Waterford, Wisconsin with a 1988 white and green Peterbilt 379. Family tradition. Okay, good job guys. Now for our limited mileage combo. Limited mileage combo, our runner up. Number 714, Brian Davis, Davis Brothers Trucking from Owensville, Indiana with a 2005 black and blue Peterbilt 379 with a 2012 Wilson Grain Hopper, super freak. And our best of show, number 715, Vinny DiOrio from Richville, Wisconsin with the 2013 orange and purple Peterbilt 389 with the 2008 Mack curtain side, trendsetting. OK. 
Okay. Now, moving on to our best of show, Working Bobtail. Best of show, Working Bobtail. Number 147, Bob and Shelly Brinker, Grayland, Michigan, with the 2000 Mural Freightliner Classic XL, Legend of the Black Pearl. Now, for our best of show, working combo. Best of show, working combo. Number 357, Bill and Sarah Rethwish, Tomo, Wisconsin, with a 2013 green and white Peterbilt 389 with a 2013 polar tanker, blood, sweat, and gas. Okay, now, for our people's choice, I'm going to have David Farkas. Do you want to announce this? I don't have it. a and a Stainless. Armando Garcia with Dangerous. That's our people's choice. Congratulations, guys. Do you have to say a few things in English before you can take that trophy? Come on, just a few words. Ah, so much for that. Okay, a few things in closing, guys. 